Okay, guys, here goes. Um, I am not one of those talented people that knows how to video my screen without doing it with my cell phone. So, um, I'm going to try and make a video tutorial, though, that can help a lot of people. Uh, one of the things I struggled with at first when I bought the Samantha font, font was, how do you see those glyphs? Where are the curly lines? Now, I watched a really good tutorial and uh, then took some pointers from other people in these groups, but... And by the way, that's totally my cat meowing. Just ignore her. <laughs> okay, I can't remember which tutorial that I looked at, so I never know um, where to forward y'all. So I downloaded Babel Map, and I'm probably not saying that right. It is right here. So I'm going to open up Babel Map. It's going to take a second. This tutorial is probably going to be a few minutes, but bear with me because it's going to be helpful. Alright, so here is Babel Map. So I'm going to go down here to where it says single font. And I'm going to go down and find Samantha. This is so not a good quality video, but you'll get the idea. Alright, so there's Samantha. Now when you first look at it, you're going to be like, oh, okay, these letters still aren't fancy. So basically you have to go over here to the track. And uh, you're going to scroll down for like a really long time. I don't know why it's so far down. It's stupid. La, 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 la. I really wish they would put this at the top. Okay, at this point... Aha! Bam! Okay, so here you are. Here are your options for your different letters. So you go up and down, and uh, it's got caps first, and then as you scroll through all the cap glyphs, it's got your lowercase and your images. There will also be combinations of things like TH. Um, you've got your numbers, your little spirally pretty flourish things. Alright, so I am going to just try and be quick about this, but... Alright, so I'm going to pick, say, a B. See how it shows up down here? Now, the one thing I don't like is that if the flourish goes below the line, you're not going to really be able to see a good version of it. But, you know, you got to deal with it. It is what it is. So, scrolling, scrolling... Or, I don't even know what word I'm trying to spell. And I don't want as fancy of a letter there, so I'll pick A. You can't use all fancy, in my opinion, because if you keep doing it, then the lines just blend into each other, and it's hard to even see what's going on. I don't know, there's a Z. Alright, you get the idea. Here is the curly Q looking thing. Now, I'm going to go over here and hit copy. Now, I open up Silhouette, and I'm going to right-click and hit Paste. Oh my gosh, I have four squares. This is not what I wanted at all. It's fine. So you're going to click it. You're going to go up here to the letter A. See, A. Hit A. And then you are going to go to your Samantha font. S-A-M. And it says, Samantha Upright Pro. So that's what I want. So I click it. And then now look over here. Bam. Those rectangles turned into that curly Q script that I had going on. Let me try and one-handedly expand this a little bit. There you go. Now don't forget before you cut that you're going to need to right-click it and hit weld. And that will make it to where um, your cut lines aren't so weirdly blended. So there it is. It's not the best quality video, but it gives you a general idea. You, you know, when you've got Babel Map open, it, I don't know why. Here, if you look, mine says like, this is really bad. Um, E something. It looks like E8B0. I don't know. If you scroll about that far down, down the track, that's where the letters are. 
So that's just the way I use it. People use different programs. I'm working on Windows, obviously not a Mac, so this is what works for me. So there you go.